Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Jessica and today I'll be taking you through a beginner style vinyasa flow. Today's practice is perfect for you if you consider yourself a beginner or if you just want to go back to the basics. No props are required for today's practice. However, if you do have blocks, I recommend having them close by and using them throughout your practice. We're going to begin right here in a comfortable seat. When you arrive, close down or soften your gaze. Start to notice your breath. Breathe in and out through your nose. Try to let go of the day you've had before or let go of the thoughts of the day ahead. Let yourself be in the present moment right here on your mat. Keep your eyes closed. Place your fingertips behind you. Press into your fingers to help lift your chest up. Draw your shoulder blades together. Draw your elbows back. Lift the crown of your head towards the sky. Lengthen the back of your neck. Lengthen the sides of your waist. With this engagement in your body now, bring your hands to your thighs. Let your shoulders relax away from your ears. Find this balance of effort and ease. Go ahead and open your eyes if you haven't already. Notice how you're sitting on your sit bones. The sit bones are those two bony parts of your butt that you typically sit on. Shift your weight forward so that you're now forward on your sit bones and then shift your weight back so that you're sitting on the back. Do this a couple more times. Shift yourself forward. Think of your pelvis like a bowl and as you're shifting forward, you're tilting the water forward and letting it spill out. And as you come back, think of this water bowl tipping backwards and the water spilling out that way. Do this once more, come forward and come back. Then find your way somewhere in the middle so that you have a neutral pelvis and that that water bowl is sitting nice and still. Shift your weight to the left. Now shift your weight to the right. Find your way into center. Reach your arms into a T. Flip your palms so that they're facing upwards, thumbs are facing back, then draw your thumbs back, engage your shoulder blades, draw them together, keep your shoulders relaxed away from your ears. Now flip your palms back down. Reach over towards the right, keep both sit bones planted on the mat, place your right hand down, reach your left arm up beside your ear, maybe bending into that right arm, gaze underneath your left armpit, side bend. Take a deep inhale, take an exhale. Inhale, lift back up, draw your arms into the T, twist over to the right, place your left hand to your right knee, right hand behind you. Inhale, lift up nice and tall, Lengthen through the sides of your waist. Exhale, twist over to the right. Maybe gaze over your right shoulder if that feels okay. Take an inhale here and exhale, come back to center. Place your hands behind you, straighten out your legs, then cross your legs in the opposite position. So now your opposite leg is in front. This may feel uncomfortable. That's okay. We're not going to be here for too long. Bring your arms out into a T. 
flip your palms up towards the sky, draw your shoulder blades back, try to draw your thumbs back, and then re-flip your palms over, maintaining this engagement. Lean over to the left, keep both sit bones planted, lower your left hand down to the mat, reach your right arm up by your bicep, maybe bend your left arm, gaze underneath your right armpit. Take a full breath in the side bend. Exhale, lift up, arms to a T, and twist yourself over as far as you can to the left, then place your right hand to your left knee, left hand behind you, sit up nice and tall, and on your exhale, let that guide the twist a little deeper. Maybe gazing over that shoulder if it feels okay for your neck, Take an inhale and exhale, come back to center. Place your hands in front of you, roll over your knees, uncross your ankles to find yourself in a tabletop position. Shift your knees back and adjust yourself as needed so that your hips are stacked over your knees, shoulders are over your wrists. Press into your fingertips, press into the heel of your palm, and really press the mat away from you. Inhale for cat cow, drop your belly, lift your gaze, tilt your tailbone up towards the ceiling. Exhale, curl and round your spine. Twice more, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now find a neutral spine, so somewhere in the middle, squeeze your belly up and in, engage through your hands, press into your palms, lift out of your shoulders, reach your left leg back and your right arm forward, take an inhale in position, exhale, lift your hand, lift your leg bicep to your ear, rotate your inner thigh up towards the ceiling, inhale, lengthen through your fingertips and your heel, exhale, draw your elbow towards your knee, round your spine, inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw it in, inhale, lengthen, exhale, draw your elbow to your knee, inhale, lengthen, Lower your hand back down to the mat, lower your toes back down to the mat, and then rotate onto the sole of your left foot, kickstand your right leg, reach your left arm up towards your ear, modified side plank. Feel the stretch from your fingertips to your heel, maybe gaze underneath your armpit, tuck your hips underneath you, Reach your arm up towards the ceiling, then back, and then use your core to help lift yourself up. Adjust your knee as needed so that it's underneath your hips. Bring your hands to your hips. Turn your toes so that they're facing the short edge of the mat. Bend your knee, reach your arms out to a T, gaze over your fingertips. Modified warrior two. Take an inhale, exhale, windmill your hands down to the top of the mat, tabletop. Second side, extend your right leg out behind you, extend your left arm, inhale, take, take an inhale here, exhale, lift up, engage your belly, draw your rib cage in, inhale here to lengthen, and exhale, curl and round your spine, draw your elbow to your knee. Inhale, reach forward, send your heel back. Exhale, elbow to knee. Once more, inhale to lengthen. Exhale, elbow to knee. Re-lengthen, then lower your left hand back down to the mat, lower your right toes to the mat. Kickstand your left leg, 
flip onto your uh, sole of your right foot, press into the outer edge of that foot as you reach your left arm, sorry, right arm up and over your bicep. Maybe gaze underneath that arm, feel the length from your fingertips to your foot. Inhale here, exhale, bring your hand up towards the ceiling, draw it back and use your core to help lift yourself up. Bring your hands to your hips, turn your foot so that your toes are facing the short edge of your mat, bend into your knee, open up your arms, gaze towards your fingertips, modified warrior two. Take a deep breath in through your nose, exhale, windmill your hands to the front of the mat, reset tabletop. Tuck your toes, shift your hips back towards your heels, walk your hands forward slightly. From here, press into the mat, press into your toes, start to lift your hips back, 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 and then up to find yourself in downward facing dog. Feet should be about hips width distance apart, hands shoulder width distance apart. Spread your fingers, press into all 10 fingers. Your heels don't need to be touching the ground and your knees don't need to be straight. In fact, take a nice generous bend in your knees, lift your tailbone higher up towards the ceiling, press your chest towards your thighs. Take a breath in and a breath out. Shift your weight forward into the top of a push-up plank pose. Lower your knees down to the mat, send your hips back towards your heels, child's pose. Slide your hands forward, lower your head down. Take an inhale here and an exhale. Inhale, come back into tabletop, shift forward for modified plank, lift your knees off the off of the mat, top of a push-up, plank pose. Exhale, downward facing dog. So that was one variation of a, down, or of a vinyasa flow. We're going to go through another variation. Option to do that first one again. Inhale, come to plank pose, top of a push-up. Exhale, lower your knees down to the mat. Start to bend at your elbows, keep your arms close to your body and lower all the way down to the mat. Untuck your toes, press the tops of your feet into the mat. Move your hands so that they're underneath your shoulders. Press into your palms. As you inhale, lift your chest up, baby cobra. Exhale, lower down, come through tabletop into a downward facing dog. That was the second variation of a vinyasa flow. So anytime throughout class, if you hear your variation of vinyasa, feel free to take either of those options. Gaze forward, bend your knees, and then step to the top of your mat, taking as many steps as you need to get there. Inhale, halfway lift, bring your hands to your shins or to your thighs. Press your palms into your legs, send your hips back as your head goes forward, like you're trying to make an imprint on the wall in front of you and a butt print on the wall behind you. Exhale, bring your hands to your hips. Inhale to lengthen, lower your hands down, fingertips pointing down, mountain pose. Take a breath in and a breath out. Bring your hands to your hips, pick up your right foot, turn your right toes inwards so that they're at a diagonal, and then pick up your left foot, turn your left toes in so that your left toes are now facing towards the top of the right side. Your legs and your feet are going to be in a pigeon toed position. So right now you are internally rotating your thighs. Notice when you do this, how that bowl of your pelvis tips forward slightly, just causing an anterior pelvic tilt. 
pick up your right foot, let your toes face forward. Pick up your left foot, let your toes face forward. Now, as you pick up your right foot, bring your toes to the diagonal facing the top right corner. Pick up your left foot and let your left toes face the left corner of your mat. Now your thighs and your feet are externally rotating. Notice as you externally rotate how your pelvis comes underneath you like you're doing a posterior pelvic tilt and that water bowl is splashing backwards. Pick up your right foot, face your toes forward. Pick up your left foot, face your toes forward. Now, with your toes facing forward, imagine you're squeezing something in between your thighs and without moving your feet, we're going to internally rotate the thighs. It should be a subtle movement, but just notice how it feels. And then opposite, externally rotate your thighs. So think about pulling the back of your thighs forward. Once more, internally rotate and externally rotate. Find somewhere in the middle, let your arms relax beside you, mountain pose. Bring your hands to your hips, step your left foot towards the back of the mat, turn all 10 toes to the long edge of the mat so that you're in a wide legged stance. From here, you're going to start to internally rotate that left thigh. We're going to be balancing it out by externally rotating the right. So externally, fully externally rotate, Take your left thigh outwards as your right toes face the front edge of your mat. Bend into your knee. Adjust your back heel as needed so that you're now internally rotating your back leg and externally rotating your front leg so that you're in this warrior two stance. Widen your arms to a T. Gaze over your front fingertips. Keep a generous bend in your front knee. Gaze down to see if you can see your front two toes. If you can't, start to try to press your knee open by squeezing your glute and reaching your tailbone down towards the mat. Take an inhale and an exhale. Flip your front palm, place your left hand to your thigh Reach your right arm up and over towards your bicep for a reverse warrior. Exhale, come back to a warrior two. Reach forward, tilt forward as far as you can, keeping your legs the same, and then tilt back. Tilt forward and tilt back. Reach forward, this time, Bend your right arm, place your forearm to your left knee, flip your palm towards the ceiling, sweep it up and over your ear for a side angle. Keep gazing underneath that left armpit. Use your right forearm to press into your thigh to lift out of your shoulder. Take a full breath in. Exhale, gaze down to the mat, frame your front foot, pick up your back heel. Ground down through your legs. Notice if your feet are too close together. If they are, heel toe your foot outwards a little bit so that you're more like on train tracks versus a tightrope. Squeeze your legs together, lift your torso up, lift your arms up, towards your ears, high lunge. Take a micro bend in your back knee, reach your tailbone down, inhale, exhale, lean forward, sweep your arms back behind you, lower your knee back to the mat, untuck your toes, sweep your arms back up, low crescent lunge. Take an inhale, and exhale, frame your front foot, tuck your back toes, lift your knee, step your foot back 
downward facing dog. Great job. Your variation of vinyasa. Come forward into plank pose, lower your knees to the mat, sit your hips back to child's pose or lower all the way down to the floor. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come through tabletop. Take a breath in your downward facing dog. Take a full breath out. Bend your knees, gaze to the top of your mat, step, hop, or jump. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Bring your hands to your hips on your exhale. Inhale, lift up, mountain pose. Bring your hands back to your hips. Step your right foot towards the back of your mat. Turn all 10 toes to the long edge so that you're now facing the opposite side of your mat. Same thing as the other side. Internally rotate your left thigh, or sorry, your right thigh now, and then fully externally rotate your left, left thigh so that your toes are facing forward. Adjust your back heel as needed. Bend into your front knee. Keep tucking your tailbone underneath you, your hips underneath you. Straighten your arms. Turn your chest so that it's towards the long edge. Gaze over your front fingertips. Warrior two. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reach up. Place your left or right arm to your thigh. Left arm towards your bicep. Exhale, come back to warrior two. Legs stay the same. Reach forward, lean your torso forward. Exhale, lean your torso back. Inhale, forward. Exhale, back. Once more, inhale, come forward. Reach as far as you can forward. Then bend your left arm, place it to your forearm. Press your arm down into your thigh to lift out of your shoulder. Flip your hand up, sweep it up towards your ear. Side angle. Take a full breath in, a full breath out. Take a breath in, and then as you exhale, sweep your arm down around your face, frame your front foot, pick up your back heel, adjust your feet so that they're hips width distance apart like you're on the train tracks. Bend into your legs, Draw your thighs together, squeeze your legs together, let your fingertips be nice and light, and then lift up, reach your arms up, high lunge. Take an inhale and exhale, tip your upper body forward, sweep your arms back. Lower your knee to the ground, untuck your toes, sweep your arms back up overhead, crescent lunge. Take an inhale, exhale, frame your front foot, tuck your toes, lift your heel off of the, or lift your knee off of the ground, step your foot back, downward facing dog. Final vinyasa, your choice. Inhale, come to plank pose, lower your knees to the mat, exhale for child's pose or bend at your elbows, lower all the way down to the mat, Inhale, cobra, lift up. Exhale, lower down. Come through tabletop. Everybody meet in child's pose. Big toes together, knees apart. Hands forward, forehead to the mat. Take a few breaths here. Come back to your natural breath rhythm. Walk your palms in. Shift your hips to either side. Swing your legs out in front of you. 
Plant the soles of your feet to the mat so that your knees are pointing upwards. Hold on to the back of your thighs. Use your arms against your leg to help lift your chest up. Roll your shoulders back and down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your crown up. And then from here, lean back. This is a variation of our boat pose. Try to come up onto your toes so that your heels are lifted. From here, lift your right leg up and then lower it down. Lift your left leg up so that your shin is parallel, lower it down. Once more, each side, lift up and lower, lift up and lower. Stay here or try to lift both legs up. You might rock back on your sit bones a little bit more. Keep using your legs or arms against your leg to help lift your chest up. Wherever you are is perfectly fine. If you'd like to take it a little bit further, reach your arms forward. If you notice you start to collapse, bring your hands back to lift yourself up. Wherever you are, Lower yourself down to the mat slowly with control. So that you come all the way down on your back in a supine position. Bring your feet to the floor. Draw your right knee in towards your chest. Cross your right ankle over your left knee. Press your knee away from you. Stay here for this variation of figure four or draw your legs in towards you. Hold on to the back of your thigh or the front of your shin. Starting to wind down the practice. Lower your foot back down to the mat. Plant the sole of your right foot down. Draw your left knee in towards you. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Press your right or left knee away from you. Stay here for this version of figure four or draw your legs in towards you. Either variation is fine. Release your legs back down, uncross your left foot. Bring your arms out into a T, shift your hips over to the right, let your knees drop down to the left, supine twist. Option to bring your left hand to your right knee, maybe gaze over to your right fingertips. Use a little bit of core strength to help lift your knees back up. Reset your hips. Open your arms out to a T. Shift your hips over to the left now. Let your knees drop to the right. Supine twist. Either keeping your gaze straight ahead or lower your gaze to your left hand. Try to keep your shoulder and your chest facing up towards the ceiling. Use a little bit of core strength to help lift your knees back up. Reset your hips onto your mat. Draw your shoulders underneath you. 
bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees fall apart. Baddha Konasana, your reclined butterfly pose. If you have blocks or bolsters, you can place those underneath your thighs to help lift them up and ease the stretch. Let your hands rest beside you, or you can bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Start to close down or soften your gaze. Option to stay in this, in this shape, or you can find your way into Shavasana whenever you're ready by extending your legs down. Your final resting pose to let this practice integrate into the body and to find relaxation. I'll call you out when it's time. Stay in Shavasana for as long as you would like. If you'd like to come out of it with me, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Maybe roll your wrists and your ankles. Reach your arms up overhead, get a big stretch. Bend your knees, roll over to one side. Create a pillow with your arm. When you're ready, press your palm into the mat to help lift yourself up to a comfortable seat. Draw your hands together towards heart center. We'll close with a releasing breath in through the nose. Exhale, side out the mouth. Bow forward. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me to, for today's beginner vinyasa flow. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a comment on what you thought. Give a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thank you. Bye.